Good everyone, welcome back to another David Maxwell Golf video where today we have the Kirkland V3, it's a brand new Kirkland Signature Golf Ball and I have had a lot of requests from you guys to test this out with drivers so I decided to do a whole video dedicated to a full driver comparison with this golf ball and also my current game of the Chrome Softer X. So let's check it out, we're down here at the T-Block, if you haven't checked out the T-Block make sure you do, Shop 1, 340 Hope Island Road. There's a whole range of membership options to suit every budget. Check it out, but let's get into it now. I've hit some warm-up shots with 7 iron. We're going to jump into driver, so I'm fully warm. There's no bias on either of these balls, but just in case someone thinks that I'm preferencing one over the other, I'm going to start with the Chrome Soft X first, and then go into the Kirkland. See what we get, see what numbers we got. Nev's also been kind enough to give me the dots on my club, so I'm going to get all the club data as well as the ball data so that we can compare them as closely as possible. Let's get into it. Dots on clubs and... Uh, Chrome Soft X first, then we're going to get into the Kirkland. Let's see how it goes. Drop a comment and tell me how close you think the ball's going to be. I have a feeling I think the Kirkland's going to be a lot shorter. I think it's going to spin a lot more. But let's just see. Bit, still a bit of a loosener, really. It's better. We got 175 ball speed, 117 club speed, backspin, 2038. They're pretty much prime numbers for me, I would say. Totaling out at 305. So that's about as good as it gets, I think. We'll hit a few more. Unless I hit it like that. That was good. Might be a little spinny, but it was good. Yeah, spinny. That's more like it. High launch, low spin, then pick the boxes. Okay, so 119 club speed, 170 ball speed, 2000 back spin, 283 carries. So it took us well, eight shots. This is nine shots to hit five good shots, which is fair enough. You don't want to keep the bad shots, so I've deleted those ones out. Now we're going to jump into the Kirklands. All right, guys, so now we've got the Kirkland, and I'm using the Kirkland second mainly because I didn't want anybody to say that I used the Kirkland first and then I warmed up more and whatever. So, Kirkland second. Let's see how these balls go. And I actually struck that really good. I blocked it a bit, but I struck it good. Right, so, club speed was quicker at 120, and Ball speed was down, efficiency was still pretty good, 1.43. Spin was 2,700, but I did lock it. That was good. I think that was the best swing I've hit so far. And still gets out there, it's still 292, and that's more than playable. 120, club speed again. We'll delete that one. I got that one a bit under high and cutty. It's still coming out alright, but you don't want that to affect the numbers because it's still be through the roof and it doesn't doesn't really do it justice. Now that's that one that's off the toe a little bit really. It's more towards the toe, a bit of that gear effect. It's gonna be a low spinner. Ball speed might be down a lot. 163, wow, didn't expect that. Maybe not, look how short that is though. I didn't expect that from that kind of a strike. I thought I hit that pretty good. 168, spin is high. I can't hit, I can't hit a ball better than that. So, that's as hard as I can swing a club and hit a ball with a slight pull. 174, I mean it got there. Just, let me hit a couple more. I think that one's even bigger. Hmm. All right, well this is pretty interesting. So I'm thinking maybe I need to hit a couple more shots just to get a bit more data in this test. So I've got 170 ball speed again, 120 club speed, 1951 backspin. So that's encouraging. As long as I can turn it over, it seems if I get that little push, that's where the spin's going through the roof with these balls. But I mean, as we can see here, the last couple of driver distance is actually pretty much the same. 
Canada. That was Canada. <clears throat> I'm not really seeing a drop in distance to be honest, when I hit it good, you still hit it good. 175 ball speed, 120 foot speed, two and a half thousand backspin or two sixes. Getting up there, last one. That's, I think, the best strike that I've hit so far. I blocked it, but that was out of the middle. 294. 176 ball speed, so that reflects that. Spin just a little high. I'm just gonna hit a couple more with the Chrome Soft X as well, and just see if now that I am actually warmed up, if that's gonna go further, but it doesn't look like it is, so. All right, so jumping back into the Chrome Soft X now, I just wanna see, I'm starting to really feel like I'm swinging it good, so I'm gonna give a fair chance back to this one as well and see if I am actually gaining anything, because the last few drives that I hit with the Kirkland, I gotta be honest, they're line ball, so let's go. Ball speed there was actually quite a lot more, 178, 121 club speed, 2,500 spin. Not too much difference in the total distance, I don't think. That was so good. That was hit so good. It's got that little blocky one, but I hit it good. 307, 176 ball speed with a lower swing speed, so. <clears throat> Again, we're seeing a higher ball speed from the Chrome Soft and, and my analysis of that is that it's just, as we saw when we cut them open, if you watched my previous video, the outer layer, the cover of the Kirkland is a lot thicker in that white cover compared to the Chrome Soft, which is going to give it technically less ball speed in a softer ball. That was hit good. What have we got here? 307 total and 177 ball speed, 2302 backspin. I think we have one more. Yeah, we got one more to hit with the chrome soft. And that should be eight shots each. So let's go one more. Okay. Save the best till last. 290 carry, 308 total, 175 ball speed, 120 club speed, backspin 2030. So really, in terms of what I've just seen there, the extra carry distance on that one is just related to the backspin, which I've got a couple down there with the chrome soft, but I think overall, if we take a look at the numbers, so if we take a look at the numbers without deleting any of the shots from what I would call the good shots, we deleted plenty of the bad shots that were pushes and, and whatever. Um, there's actually not that much difference, but it kind of is a little bit, but not much. So 2.6 mile an hour ball speed overall, Launch angle, the Chrome Soft X is launching lower probably just because of swing speed and compression. The spin overall is only like 140 RPM. So 142 RPMs on the spin and difference is really quite good. Actually, the spin differential of the Kirkland was only 322 RPMs. So it kind of edged out the Chrome Soft and its spin differential of the good shots that I hit. Um, offline, we're a little bit the same, sorry, on the, on the side angle there, we're, we're basically the same, just the degree Carry four meters shorter and total, again, only four meters of difference with the good shots that I hit. So when you're considering, uh, you know, maybe something that's value for money, you might not be playing all the time. Does four meters really matter to you? Probably not, and you're gonna save yourself quite a bit of money. But to somebody else who's a little bit more into the game, a bit more serious about the game, four meters could be a massive benefit. And if we take a look at some of the other ball data, we go back to the table. There is actually quite a bit of spin differential with a couple of them, but let's delete the bad ones, the high spinning ones. I'm gonna delete these. We'll leave these ones here because they actually had the higher ball speeds as well. So we don't wanna delete those. So delete selected. All right, so if we delete the high spinning ones and, and probably the worst of those bats from each one, it does separate the balls a little bit more. But overall, when I put the good shots together on the averages, they were actually pretty close. So a couple of mile an hour ball speed, four meters of difference, um, in carry and in total. And in terms of value for money, I mean, you can't really argue with it. The Kirkland definitely held up to the charge. Um, the only thing that I would say is when I hit the Kirkland, it probably took me more shots to get good shots, if that makes any sense. So I don't know if there's any kind of consistency in the ball that, that this unit is picking up or whether I just had better swings, that could be argued either way. But either way, fantastic ball, super impressed with its performance. And uh, yeah, if you're on a budget, go try some.
that's it from me today guys make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel if you got any questions throw them in the comment section i'll get back to every comment in the comment section check out the t block i might even see you down here if you're in the local area shop one 340 hope island road on the gold coast see you guys